started here today just with the families after the damning report by the police ombudsman into the murder of their loved ones, where we've seen 11 people in South Belfast murdered by loyalist paramilitaries who were aided and abetted by the British state. It's clear from this report and when you link it to other reports that there was a systemic policy of collusion. It was state controlled, it was state resourced and I think it's a damning indictment on the RUC but on the British state itself and its involvement here in Ireland. We have seen families come together here today who have come together for 30 years in demanding the truth and justice into the killings and the deaths of their loved ones. They have stood here and over those 30 years with great dignity and really it was poignant this morning that they continue to stand here together and will continue to do so in the time ahead to get the justice that they deserve for their loved ones. I think what this also shows is that this is one chapter in a much larger book in terms of the policy of collusion here in Ireland but also the role of the state in hiring informers and actually recruiting those who they know were involved in other murders and handing over weapons that they could then go out and kill civilians on the streets of Belfast, on the streets of South Down, in the North West. And this was a systemic policy across the board. There will be more to come. And I think what this further exposes is why the British government are now so intent in closing down any legacy mechanisms because they don't want their dirty war and their dirty tactics that they used here on the streets of Belfast and beyond to be exposed further. And I would support the families here and many families across the board that we need those legacy mechanisms implemented and we need to uh, make sure that we get to the truth of what happened here in Ireland.